group that forbids the police from making arrests on a Friday. In the arrest of 15th of November 2021, the investigators sought order to hold the accused person in custody pending investigations, which order was denied. I therefore find that the day of the week in which the accused person was arrested is irrelevant in the face of that application, because in any event, had it been granted, he would have been placed in custody. The arrest of 26th of November 2021 followed the closure of the miscellaneous uh, file. On 25th of November 2021, the prosecution failed to bring a holding charge, and I highlight the word holding charge. Within the seven days timeline, I have also highlighted the seven days timeline. <coughs> this cannot be construed to mean that they were permanently forbidden from ever bringing charges against like this person. The abuse was brought to court on 29th of November 2021. The defense has failed to demonstrate that the said arrest was created by bad faith. On the issue of the, uh, the pending petition number E47, the pending high court petition, constitutional petition number E473 of 2021, challenging the report and the management of football generally, as well as the caretaker committee created by the CS Sports. I have had the opportunity to produce the amended constitutional petition, E473 of 2021, which was amended on 22nd of November 2021, and noted that it is challenging the inspection of football tenure federation. It is my considered finding that this is insufficient to challenge to challenge the legality or otherwise of the criminal charges before this court. In the case of Alfred Dolmiti Lusiba versus Pet, Pet means to perpetuate an ulterior motive. On the issue of abuse of court process, in the case of Satya Bama Gandhi versus Director of Public Prosecutions and three others, uh, 2018 ETL Act, the court stated that the doctrine of abuse of process based on the inherent authority of every court to control its processes and those persons who come before it, is a power incidental and necessary to the exercise of substantive jurisdiction. That power, together with the rules of court and statutory provisions, enable, enables the court to dismiss or strike claims which are frivolous, vexatious. In addition, it may, it may be exercised to discipline litigants and lawyers guilty of misconduct. It was therefore upon the defense to show the court that by, the, by bringing the charges against the accused person before this court, the action of the DPP was frivolous, vexatious, or that the same amounted to misconduct. Unfortunately, none of these things has, have been demonstrated. So in conclusion, uh, the